In this lecture, we will learn about the radix sort and how to implement a radix sort in C sharp. The radix sort is used to sort integers. It sorts the digits, starting from the rightmost significant digit and progressing to the left. Let's look at a conceptual example so that we understand how this algorithm works before we move on to writing the C sharp code to implement it. We start out with the following collection, three integers, 101, 304, and 400. The rightmost significant digits are examined. For the number 101, 1 is the rightmost digit. For 304, 4 is the rightmost digit. For 400, 0 is the rightmost digit. On the first pass, this algorithm will rearrange the numbers in order of their rightmost digits from least to greatest. Since 0 is the least of the three numbers, 400 is bumped to the front of the collection. 1 is the next smallest, so 101 becomes the second item in the collection. 4 is the largest number, so 400 comes last in the collection. Next, the middle digits are examined, since this algorithm starts from the right and moves one digit to the left each time. Since all of the middle digits are zero, the elements in the collection stay in the exact same order. Now, the leftmost digits are examined. 101 is moved to the front of the list, since one is the least of the three numbers being examined. Then comes 304, since three is the next smallest digit. Finally, 400 is positioned at the end of the list, since 4 is the largest of the digits being examined. Now the radix sort has completed, and the list is in order. Let's look at an example of how we could write a C-sharp function to implement a radix sort. Our radix sort function will be static and will return an int array that takes in an int array parameter named data. We will start out with a temp int array with the size of the length of the array passed into the function. Then we will check if the shift is greater than negative 1. If not, the program ends. If so, i and j start out as 0. If i is less than the length of the array length, we create a boolean variable called move. We use the left shift operator with the value of our shift variable from the for loop. We will learn about the left shift operator in depth when we look at bitwise operations in C sharp in a later section in the course. If the value of shift is 0, then we do not want to move the data. Else, we want to move the data as the number is in the wrong position. Then we handle the shift. This continues until the shift value is no longer greater than negative one, meaning we have gone through all of the digits from the numbers. If i is not less than the length of the array, we will copy the array. Then we will return the array outside of the for loop. In the next lecture, we will learn what a heap sort is and how to implement a heap sort in C sharp.